And sometimes you have mornings where you are really like, wait, where am I? Uh, how did I get here? This is Las Vegas Space Flight Crew. Welcome to Albuquerque. Uh, I'm on a farm in New Mexico. I stayed here last night because a few days ago, uh, our friend Logan, he's been staying here on like a work away kind of program for a few weeks and he wanted some people to drive back. So he said that he would fly Megan and I out to drive back with him. So within literally like 36 hours, I realized that I could do it, that yeah, I had other work commitments this week, but nothing that I couldn't really do on the road. We got on a flight to Albuquerque and then we drove a bunch of hours and now we're on this farm. from it all we'll take it to our grave let's find another place far from it all i don't want to just float on like some sort of venom in a throwback song so my honey just hold on but what's the point of holding if it all feels wrong Fire. Coming from living in a city was like an incredible change of pace where, you know, you're literally in the middle of nowhere and there's teepees and, and we were feeding animals and there's no screens and so we're playing board games and, and making this like amazing vegan food for ourselves. <laughs> So the prettiest ones are like the alphas, and the ones that are pecked to death are the lowest ranks, and they like won't even let them eat. We built the experience of Shrek 2, but it was still less real than the rock. Just float on like some sort of venom in a throwback song It's in my honey, just hold on But what's the point of holding if it all feels wrong? And now it's the next day and I'm still wearing the clothes that I was wearing yesterday. We are going to get in a car and start driving to California and see what happens on the way. Where to next? Everywhere. No, it's Sedona. We're going to Sedona next. You can control yourself. So she's just eating chips with beans on them. I'm having sour cream though. I took my medicine. I don't want to be a stranger in the middle of the night. You got a thing for danger, but you don't know why. Uh, we stopped in um, Petrified Forest. Pet Petrified Forest National Park is one of those places where it's like, if you had asked me like a week ago even, if I ever uh, was gonna have been here, probably would have said no. I mean, I would have been open to it, but like when would I have ever have gone to Petrified Forest National Park? But here we are, getting gas. I'm still very full from having gone to Chili's. Yeah, just a few more hours to Sedona. <laughs>
Anyways, we're in Sedona. We, we were here last night. Um, oh, you were recording? Yeah. Uh, ah! Sedona is pretty amazing. Uh, it's like got all these red rocks. It looks like Westworld. And vortexes. And there's vortexes here, apparently. I don't think we're gonna see any of them on this trip. And now we're gonna go to Slide Rock uh, Park and uh, slide down some rocks, apparently. On our tender behind. Okay. Guys, I'm so sad. But we got him. Mismatched shoes. And one of the flip flops went missing, so I put on a Converse real quick. And now I am walking all around Sedona with mismatched shoes, and uh, kind of hurts. It's kind of painful. Tom's <laughs> rings. Cats, we're home. And that's it, we're home now, after like the most last minute trip. But if I have learned anything from experience, it's probably that all of the best things are kind of last minute, are kind of impromptu, are kind of just going with the flow. Because when you're not overthinking things, you're more willing to just find that, that wavelength of life where you're just moving and you're just doing stuff and it's just good. Yeah. <laughs>